All right, this video is for Devin Clark. This is my test rig for your malls. So really quick, your accent LEDs, I've got simulated here. And basically, this is LED 1, 2, and 3. So your first accent LED needs to be hooked up to LED 4, which is right here. And your second accent LED needs to be hooked up to LED 5, your negative on your accent LED. And you can see here, the resistors are going to LEDs 4 and 5. The resistors are on the negative legs of the LEDs here. Then the positive legs of the LEDs, which I have joined here, come around here and loop into this positive on the profi board. Then they'll do what I've programmed them to do. The negative NeoPixel runs to the bridged 1, 2, and 3 the way I have it wired, but your negative from your main blade needs to go to NeoPixel 1, 2, and 3 just like in the manual. Um, I bridged mine, so this bridge is connect. This is your NeoPixel negative. This white wire is the lead to my battery negative. This red wire is positive NeoPixel, positive to the board, but it's also going to be positive to the battery when I hook up the battery here in a second. The switch wires, this white, green, and yellow, this is my common ground for both switches. Green is main, yellow is auxiliary. Uh, of course, you know, I have the ground already bridged from ground to ground pin on the back on the underside of the board. So if you use this with your accents that you have in your chassis, then your accent LEDs will do what you'll see here. The NeoPixel strip I have here, the short strip, simulates what your main blade's going to do. Here is the board in action. All right, so now I'm going to hook up the NeoPixel, I'm sorry, I'm going to hook up the board negative to my battery here, and then I'm going to hook the board positive to my test battery here, and you should hear a boot, and you do. And you can see the pulsing on your accent LEDs here. That's what they do when the saber is in idle. They pulse on and off gently. I can increase the rate of that pulse or decrease the rate of the pulse so it's slower let me know. But when you activate the Sabre, number one, you're going to see the main blade ignite. But number two, you're going to see these accent LEDs doing something different. Here we go with ignition. On lockup. So you can see everything in totality. The accent LEDs flicker. You get your lockup color over there. Blaster blocks. Then they, the accent LEDs also react on flash. They actually flash off. When you turn the saber off, they'll go back into their pulsing sequence where they're gently pulsing on and off. Change fonts, going to bank two. You can see I have a red blade. There's your lockup with a white lockup. You can see the accent LEDs doing their thing traction, they'll go back into their pulse. Third blade is a fire blade. This is your Neo, this simulates your NeoPixel blade over here. It's a fire blade. Uh, the blade number three is. There's lockup in the fire blade. Accent still doing their screwy thing. Fourth blade is uh, cyan. Of course, the you know the accents do this in, in every font. They act the same way. All right, my battery died there. So here we go with this uh, this next one. Blue. Lock up. Lock up. Blaster blocks. Retraction. And see, we go back into pulse. Next blade. Green. Lock up. Blaster block. Retraction. Vengeance. So now we're back on bank one. This is a, a yellow gold audio flicker blade. Bank two, purple blade, bank three, rainbow blade,
Rainbow Blade with the Cantina song, so you see the music tracks work. This is your charging blade style, which I don't have a font in the charging, and it's not going to work anyway because it's the charging blade style, so my strip's not long enough for you to see the charge indicator, but this is the charging blade style, and then we're back to bank one. If you're satisfied with this, let me know. I'll program your boards. And then the bank folders, how I program them, you have bank one, bank two, bank three, bank four, bank five, bank six. And then you have another folder called charging. You can put whatever font you want in those folders on your SD card that are labeled that way, just like Plector. And bada boom, this will work like this. So the, the fonts go in their order. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then they start over. One, two, three, four, five, six. The first two blade styles are red for Darth Maul. One's got a spark tip, one doesn't. Third blade style is fire blade. The other blade styles are a bunch of different colors. If you don't like the colors, you want me to change something else, let me know. But that's where we stand right now. Hope you like this, Devin. It's, it's working.